think that's a very underserved market in our country, which is why you've seen <clears throat> things like Duck Dynasty and Yellowstone get so big is because, you know, while I don't mind a gay person or a trans person being part of a television or film program, I don't need to see one every time I turn one on just because it's some DEI crap. I have so many points to make, I don't even know where to start. So apparently Kid Rock is a social political commentator now being taken so seriously that you can find him on the Laura Ingram program on Fox News. He can be found here discussing his thoughts on just how much trans and gay people are allowed to exist in the public eye. It's not very much. Oh, I don't need to see a trans or a gay person every time I turn on my TV. Well, you know what? I don't want to see every time I turn on my TV, Kid Rock, straight people having sex. But you know what I see every time I turn on my TV, Kid Rock, is straight people having sex. But I don't, I don't get a choice in that matter. But apparently, if gay and trans people exist as much as straight people are allowed to exist in the public eye, we are shoving our agenda down your throats and we're, we're forcing people to be gay because it's contagious visually. I don't know. Why are you forcing your lifestyle over on me? Who's forcing you to be gay? Uh, Joe Biden and his crew. Joe Biden's forcing you to Absolutely. be gay? No, not forcing me. I, make sure you get that right. I ain't gay and I ain't got nothing to do with it, okay? Okay. Don't ask me. No, but I thought you were say, you're saying he's forcing you. He's forcing no, he's, you to be gay or he's, he's forcing, forcing you to be... What, what's he forcing? The whole party is forcing their lifestyle over on to us. Period. But nobody's forcing you to be gay. It's just so people, people can live the life how they want to live without persecution. Listen, to the man in this video, the one being interviewed, the one afraid of the left forcing their gay lifestyle on him, no, no one's... No one wants you to be gay. No, I'm, I can guarantee you right now, not a single gay man on this planet looks at you and goes, that one should be gay. Yeah, I don't think you need to worry. Not, not one drill bit. It's always so funny to me when straight people are concerned that gay people want them and want them to be gay. They don't. For, listen, all you straights out there watching this video, um, we don't want you. You don't need to. You don't need to worry. You can put those worries to rest. We would rather poke out our eyes with mechanical pencils every day upon waking than want you to be gay. So don't worry. Besides, once again, it's impossible to force someone to be gay. That's not how. It, how would you do that? How you know how he thinks it's done? Here, he'll tell you how he thinks it's done. Putting in schools, in our uh, education for our children, okay, yeah. that it's okay to be that way, and it's not. What, it's you, ungodly. Is that what period. So you're saying like it's period? There's no answer. There's no more question to that. Period. Because in Leviticus, it's ungodly, friend. Learning that it exists makes kids gay. Learning that gay people exist, that's what's making the kids gay. Um, you know, I recall as a toddler being taught in school that dolphins existed, and as you can see, I infamously then became a dolphin. It's just like, is, do you use, is there a single shred, a shred of critical thinking skills ever being used by people on the far right? Just, just the world's tiniest fraction of critical thinking skills would tell you that that's not how it works. Not to mention, once again, using the Bible and the rules in the Bible, but only some of the rules in the Bible. Only the ones that I want to use from the Bible. Okay, so in the Bible, in Leviticus, yeah. it says, if a man lives with a man, he should be put to death. Be also, you be careful. Okay. Also in Leviticus, we're gonna go to eternity, and we're gonna answer for all this right. I, I, will, I look forward to it. Right. Also in Leviticus, it says, if you spill your seed, you need to give two turtle doves to a pastor, a priest. Um, spill your seed meaning ejaculate. Have you given turtle doves to to priests or pastors, like it says in the Bible? No. You haven't. No. I do love the dejected. No. Like, he's actually ashamed. But he's ashamed for the wrong reasons. He's ashamed because he didn't follow the rules of the Bible instead of being ashamed that he expected other people to follow certain rules, but he didn't have to follow all of the rest of the rules. That should be the shame. Or the shame of trying to force other people to live their lives based on your personal religion. I think we need more gay content. We need, you know what? 
I think petition from here on out, 90% of characters on TV and in movies, gay. And if you're out there and you don't like that, oh, you can wail and gnash your teeth. I don't care. Listen, you can cry all the way home just because you had to witness a gay person existing on TV. Boo hoo. Getting a little worked up. Listen, the next time you watch a television show and you're upset that we're forcing gay people down your throat because there's a gay character or two or, God forbid, a trans character in the show, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to take out a little pad and a little pencil, okay? And I want you to count all the different characters. And then I want you to tally up how many straight and cis characters there are versus how many gay and trans characters there are. And then I want you to try and whine and moan about there being gay people on the TV. Thank you for watching. You just spent five minutes watching a gay person. Oh no, somebody call Kid Rock. Oh, I'm losing it making this video. If you wanna check out some of my content that isn't news related, you can check out my personal YouTube channel at Bad Gamer Wyatt. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.